Hi guys, I can't believe it, but it is time for my five month project pan update. And I also do my monthly empties all in one, so you get one big video all together. Here's what my basket is looking like this month. It is quite overflowing, but that's because there are a lot of empties things in here. So let's just jump right in as always. So we're gonna do empties first, and then we're going to do project pan stuff. Uh, first up, I have the Olay Ultra Moisture 24 Hour um, Body Wash with Shea Butter. And this I actually really love the smell of, and it felt really good on my skin too. I got this on like a gift pack of stuff at Christmas, which sounds kind of weird, but I got some like body washes and things. It was this like box of things my grandma gave me, I don't know. Okay, so it smelled really good. I liked it. I would probably rebuy it. I finished off a box of crust white strips. So I've been kind of on a mission lately and I'm trying to whiten and brighten my smile. So I finished off this box and I bought a new box. Um, and this is the Crest 3D White with Advanced Seal um, Once a Day 30 Whitening Treatments. Oh, and this one only comes with 20. Interesting. Well now I get 10 lumps. Boo. This one's a level 4 whitening, this one's a level 3 whitening. Whatever. I feel like it's helping to whiten my smile, so I'm working on it. I finished off an Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Hibiscus Creamy Body Lotion, and I would not repurchase this. Um, it's just not that moisturizing, honestly. I was just trying to finish this off just to get rid of it and be done with it. I feel like after about 45 minutes or an hour after you put this on, your skin feels all dry and crackly and yuck. And who wants to feel like an alligator, right? So, blah. I finished, <laughs> you can see the water spots on this. It sat there for a while because I didn't really like it. This is also by Organics and I bought it at the same time I bought that body lotion. Kind of weird, I finished them both off at the same time. Um, the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Conditioner. I didn't like this. I didn't like the smell of it. I didn't like how it, it felt in my hair. I don't really feel like it did much for me. I don't think I'm gonna buy any more organic stuff. This also is kind of water spotty looking. It is the Schwarzkopf Bonacure or BC Hair Therapy Rescue Repair Shampoo. I didn't like the conditioner for this, which I finished I think in December. And I also did not like the shampoo for this. It made my hair feel like dirty. And it's a shampoo, it should clean it, but it makes it feel dirty and gross. And it's really expensive, so yuck. And I actually got this for free in my influencer box, the only influencer box that I've ever gotten. I got this for free and I still don't like it even though it's free. And here are all my little crest white strips that I used during the month. I want that like gleaming bright movie star smile. I used one of my L'Oreal Magic Lumi primers. I used, I think I actually used more than one of these this month but I don't know where it is. It's not in my basket. It's the Biore Nose Strip. I finished the very last Be Fine product here, and it is the Be Fine Exfoliating Cleanser thingy, whatever. I used it as a body scrub. I liked it. I certainly wouldn't buy it though. So I got this random, I had these random like disposable razors, and I was just like, I'm sick of these things sitting around, so I'm gonna use them. So I used this Big Soleil, I don't know, it came in like a three pack or something like it. I got a random coupon in the mail for like a free Schick Hydro 5 razor, which is actually the razor that I use all the time. This is a men's razor, but I use it anyway, so I just threw away my old one and I have a pretty new one that's in the shower now. I used up this N4 High Performance Hair Care Lumiere Diver Clarifying Shampoo. I hated this. It smelled like man, which is not a crime, but I think it smells like men and bug spray. So I guess if you're into the scents of men and bug sprays, or maybe you just dig exterminators, this might be the shampoo for you. Horrible! I finished up another one of these Kerastase Nectar Thermectin... Thermi... I can't say it. I'm sorry! It is the Heat Styling Protectant like Cream. And this stuff smells like heaven. I absolutely love it. And I have, I think, one more of them to use. I used up a, another e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloth. I use one of these pretty much every month. 
I finally, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for this, ready? I finally used uh, this Rimmel Glam Eyes Lash Flirt Volume and Lift Mascara. And there's still a little bit left in there, but it's like dry and clumpy, like it's leaving clumps and stuff on my lashes. So at that point, we are through. We have broken up. So now that we have broken up, um, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was or I remember it being. I probably wouldn't rebuy it. I guess if I had my choice of this or maybe something worse, I would buy it, but I'm not like looking for it. I have this half-finished bottle of Pantene clarifying shampoo. I'm not quite done with this. I have used some of the um, Oscar Blondie protein spray. It's down to here now, so making some progress on that. I am almost done with this Boccia face wash, and this has actually been fine for me. It's purifying cleansing gel. I thought this was going to be a lot more drying than it is, but it's actually fine with my skin. So if you have dry skin, this really isn't too bad. My skin does feel a little dry when I get out of the shower, but not like what I was expecting. Like if I was to use like clean and clear face wash or something like that, or Neutrogena, my skin would feel like it's like I had some sort of crazy facelift, like Joan Rivers-esque, like really tight and painful. But this doesn't make my skin feel like that at all. The e.l.f. essential blush. So send out a newsletter, let everyone know, shout out from the rooftops. We have seriously attacked the corner pan here. I have been using this almost every day, chug chug chugging away. I'm not wearing it today. There have been a couple days that I haven't worn this, but pretty much almost every single day this month. This is what I have been wearing. The Rimmel Waterproof Sexy Curves Mascara. I have used this three times this month. So I am using it sporadically here or there, like if it's a rainy day or something, I'll wear this because I don't want like my mascara to end up under my eyes or if I'm doing something that would require me to, I don't know, be in a situation where I just feel the need for some waterproof mascara. It's okay. This is just such a pain to get off. Blah. The Revlon 3D Volume Photo Ready Mascara. So this is what I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it a couple times over the last couple weeks since I ran out of my Rimmel Lash Flirt. So I've now moved on to this one. And I really don't like this one because it's so darn wet. It kind of clumps my lashes together. It doesn't really separate or volumize. I don't know what they were thinking with this mascara. It just doesn't work for me, but I've been using it. Physicians Formula Healthy Wear foundation powder stuff. I have used it a couple times this month. Not a ton. Broken and annoying, but I have used it. I have used the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Green Photo Primer thingy. Not photo primer. Face primer. Correcting primer. There we go. Um, anywho, if you watch my Get Ready With Me, you'll see me use this. And I have used it one or two other times besides that this month. The CoverGirl True Blend in 420. Um, yeah. You can see through the glass. I have used this. It's been great. Time to say goodbye. Um, you know, there's a tiny amount left in there, so I'm not going to save this for next month. I'm going to use it for one more day. There's, like I said, I'm going to be able to take the thing off and shake a little bit more out. But pretty much donezo. I have been using this one a great deal this month just to be done with it. I have not used my Max Factor sample. I have one more L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I have my KMS Free Shape like hair cream thing. I did not use the rest of my Embryo Lease last month just because I feel like it was breaking me out so bad and I hardly ever break out but I feel like this was really breaking me out. Um, I have a really small amount of it left down here. I think I'm just gonna use it because I really did like how it made my skin feel but ugh, it's gonna break me out. I can't use it. Benefits Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. I haven't been using it. I don't really like it. Um, I'm kind of running out of foundations to use now so I guess I'm gonna have to start using these. Sarah McNamara's Miracle Skin Transforming Body Thing or whatever. I used that just like on my legs one day. My hair is getting stuck in my eyelashes today. It's really ugh. <sighs> eh. I have 
the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I've been using that here or there. I'm not really even near using it up. So here I have some lip products, the e.l.f. Hyper Shines. I have been using, um, once again here or there, not steadily every day. I need to put them somewhere I, where I just like grab them and use them. You know what? I'm going to put them here. Put them in with my brushes right now. Um, L'Oreal Juice Tube, haven't really used that. So, once I'm out of the Bosha skincare, I guess I'm kind of forced to use this because this is what's left. It is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, and this is the powder you shake in your hand. Haven't really used that. I'm kind of afraid of it because I know it's going to dry out my skin. Um, Dr. Jart BB Cream. I haven't used any of these BB Creams since last month. Here's the Juice Organic Beauty uh, BB Cream. Haven't used that one since last month. I have been using the Jose Maron um, Argan Oil, and it's about half empty now, and I actually really like this. I'm going to be sad when it goes away. I've been using it, um, like, on my hands. I'll put a whole bunch on my hands before I go to bed at night, and it's just been keeping them healthy and beautiful. Not that I have, like, model hands or anything like that, so I don't think I'm saying that. Sonia Kushak and Elf Eyeshadow Palette. I've really been using this Elf Eyeshadow Palette. I haven't been using Sonia. We're gonna give Sonia one more month, which is what I think I said last month. I'm gonna give her one more month. If I don't use her, I'm just gonna chuck her. Um, Elf, I've been using a couple of my favorite colors from there. Not a ton, not enough to like hit pan, but I have been using them. These showstopper black tape things. I don't know. When would I wear that? I just don't know. And then there's the Bosha BB cream. I also haven't used, so I guess I have three BB creams. Maybe I can mix it with the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow or something. La Fresh Body Smoother. Haven't used that. I used another one or two of these oil blotting sheets. Not enough that they're gone. These should probably be gone next month. I'm almost done with them. I have been using the Julep Pomegranate Body Cream on my feet at night. Uh, I haven't really made a huge dent. I have used some of it. Not a ton. Um... It was a good tip from one of you guys last time, so I appreciate it. I haven't been using the coral blush, but summer, or not summer, spring is now here, so I should probably start using that one. And I have two perfume samples, Ju Viva La Juicy La Fleur and Juicy Couture. And I put this one in my purse, and I haven't used this one yet. So I've gotten a couple spritz out of this. Um, not quite done yet. Let's smell juicy. <sighs> Love the smell of that one. Alright, so that is it for my project pan update. Let me know how you think I'm doing. I'm getting there. I have used a lot of these little odds and ends things that I had laying around. Uh, oh, and the Wet n Wild eye makeup remover that burns. I used some more of that. I used it actually to try and clean my beauty blenders because they're stained. See? The beauty blenders are stained with the Revlon Color Stay. So I used some of this this month um, in trying to clean that. It actually did help a little. Alright, so like I was saying, that's it for my project pan update and my monthly empties. Let me know how you think I'm doing down below. Let me know how your project pan is going. Um, let me know if any of my empties were your favorites. If you guys don't know, I have a Twitter. I'll link that down below. I have an Instagram if you want to follow me there. I post fun pictures sometimes. I have my vlog channel. I'll link that down below if you want to follow me in some other places and say hi. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful week as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!